And this is how you can make a YouTube video search command for your Discord.js version 14 bot. So let's go and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you'd like to get access to the source code from this video or other videos on my channel, you can do so by joining a channel membership on YouTube or a subscription over on Discord. On Discord, if you get the God or Custom bot tier, you'll get access to that source code. And over on YouTube, if you get the Super God or Custom bot tier, you will also get access to that source code. And of course, on both platforms, if you get the Custom bot tier, me and my team will code you a personalized custom Discord bot. If any of this is of interest to you, go ahead and click the links in the description below to get started with this, and let's go and get into the video. So we can go over to community, and we can go ahead and create YouTube video.js. This could also be video search, it doesn't really matter. In here, you can do cons, you can get your slash command builder, you can also get your embed builder, and then you can do equals require, and we can get our discord.js package. Now, I don't think we're going to use the embed builder, but we're just going to go ahead and define anyways. Then we can do const parser equals require, and we can do rss parser. Now, you are going to have to define that in your terminal for this to work. We can do const lowercase parser equals new and we can go ahead and get our parser just like that then we can do module.exports we can open this up we're going to go ahead and get data which is going to be our new slash command builder then we can go ahead and set a name which is going to be our video search and we can go ahead and set a description and we can go ahead and say a search for a video on a youtube channel and we can go ahead and add a string option here we can do option arrow function we can go ahead and get our option does set name this is going to be our channel id then we can go ahead and set a description we can go ahead and say the youtubers channel id and we can go ahead and set required we're going to go ahead and make that true then we can go ahead and add another string option we can go ahead and do option arrow function option dot set name this is going to be our query this is going to be our description as well then we can go ahead and say the keywords you want to search for and we can go ahead and set required to true then we can add a comma we're going to go ahead and get async executes we can go ahead and get our interaction and we can go ahead and open this up and here we can go ahead and start by deferring a reply. So we can do a waves interaction dot defer reply. And we can go ahead and set the informal to true as well. Then we can do const. We're going to go ahead and get our options. And we can set that to our interaction. We can do const query equals options dot get string. And we're going to go ahead and get our query string. And then we can also do dot to lowercase. So we're going to go ahead and set that string to to lowercase. Just so that we can compare it to the title of the video when we're searching for it. So that there's no capital letter problems there. Then we can do const channel id equals options dot get string and we can go ahead and get our channel id string just like that and we can do let data equals await parser dot parse url we can go ahead and get this very specific url here so it's going to be at youtube.com slash feeds slash videos dot xml question mark channel underscore id equals and then we can go ahead and open this up we're going to go ahead and get our channel id variable just like that so this is going to be the data we're going to be pulling from then we can do let author and we can do equals we can go ahead and get our data dot items and we can go ahead and get zero so we're going to go ahead and get the author so that we can add that into the message later then we can do let links equals an empty array and we can also do let titles equals an empty array as well we can do await data dot items dot for each and we can go ahead and get async value open this up with an arrow function here and then in here we can do const title equals value dot title dot to lower case just like that then we can go ahead and say if title dot includes and we can go ahead and get our query variable we can go ahead and open this up we're going to do links dot push and we can go ahead and get our value dot link and we can also do titles dot push and we can get our value dot title so if the value we are checking in the for each includes the query that we are searching for or our keywords and it's all to lowercase so there's no case sensitive issues here um, and it does include it then we're going to go ahead and push the link and the title to our array so that we can access it later then we can say else and we can just go ahead and return because obviously if it doesn't include it then we're just going to return and do nothing so then after doing that we can go ahead and come down here and we can say if links dot length equals 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 zero and we can do or titles dot length equals 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 zero we can go ahead and open this up we can go ahead and return await interaction dot reply we can say content and we can go ahead and say there are no and we can go ahead and bold recent and we can say videos matching and we can do backslash tick. We're gonna go ahead and get that query variable. And then we can do on and we can do author and we can do S and we can go ahead and say channel. And we're gonna go ahead and set this informal to true as well. And the other thing here is this is going to be edit reply because we just deferred a reply up here. So then after doing that, we can go ahead and try. We can go ahead and open this up. We can do await interaction dot edit reply and we can say content and we can go ahead and say videos matching. 
and then we can do backslash tick. We're gonna go ahead and get our query backslash tick. We can do backslash n backslash n, and then we can do backslash tick backslash tick backslash tick. We can go ahead and get our titles dot join, and then in here we're gonna go ahead and get a string. We can do a space backslash n backslash n backslash n just like that. So then after doing that, so we can go ahead and finish off the ticks here. So we can do backslash tick backslash tick backslash tick. So this is gonna be formatting it. And then after that, we can do a space. We're gonna do backslash n. We can do space backslash n backslash n. We can do an arrow here, and we can go ahead and get our links dot join. And we can go ahead and get a space comma space just like that. And actually, make sure you go ahead and do it in a string. So space comma space just like that. And then after doing that, we can go ahead and do backslash n. And we can do backslash n again. And we can go ahead and say, please note, not all links will be embedded. And the reason we have to say this is just in case there's a lot of videos on that channel that match that query that you search for, um, some of them may not be embedded. So after doing that, we can go ahead and catch an error. And we can open this up. We can just go ahead and return await interaction uh, edit reply. And we can go ahead and say content. And we can go ahead and say there are. And we can say so many. And we can say videos matching. We can go ahead and get our query variable. Then we can say that I can't send a message with them. And we can also set informal on that message to true. So with that, we're actually done with this entire command. So we can go ahead and save the file, restart the bot, and test this out. All right, so over in the Discord server, we can actually go ahead and test this out. So we're going to go ahead and run our command. So we can go ahead and get video search. And the first thing that we're going to need is our channel ID. So we can go over to YouTube here. I'm going to go to the Mr. Beast channel, and we're going to go ahead and find the About section on this channel. So once we're here, we can go ahead and click on the Share button, and we can also go ahead and click on the Copy Channel ID. So then after that, we can go ahead and paste it in here. So this is their channel ID. Then we can go ahead and get the query. So we're gonna actually go back into the channel and I'm gonna go all the way back over to videos. So I'm just gonna go ahead and search for a video that includes the word ages because that is one of the most recent ones. So we can go ahead and search ages. And as you can see here, it's gonna go ahead and say videos matching ages. It's gonna go ahead and bring up the title, which is the same as here. And it's gonna go ahead and give me that link. So we can actually go ahead and try this again. We can just go ahead and say ages and we can mess around with the caps on that. And as you can see, it's still gonna work. And it's actually gonna go ahead and put that to lowercase as well. Then we can go ahead and try something else here. So we can go ahead and say, C because I think you did a video with yep here it is so that is another video that's going to pop up now one other thing that I would like to mention is these videos that are old are not actually going to go ahead and appear in this um, and the reason is for some reason the link we're using to get all this data does not have older videos for example if I were to search factory just like that as you can see it's going to say there are no recent videos even though that is a video right here um, but if I were to search a more recent video like we can do video search and we can go ahead and get the channel ID we can do here another one's going to pop up here saying I helped 1,000 people here for the first time so that's you can code an advanced video search command for discord.js version 14 bot if if you do need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below. And we'll be happy to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways because it is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.